Greetings to all. Everyone remembers Klaus Schwab's statements recently at the Davos World Economic Forum and his subsequent statement in Dubai at the summit of the world government, the world government as it used to be called, that artificial intelligence will be one of the bases of the fourth industrial revolution that is coming. But in fact, this revolution has already taken place because now literally every two or three weeks, it is reported about the introduction of more and more new systems of so-called artificial intelligence, which can create very realistic pictures, videos literally within some seconds. And I told you a few weeks ago about the Lumiere system, which is represented by Google, which can create any image based on some text within five seconds. They even give it a trar. You can do it yourself. So far, it's a five second video, but you could already make sure of the fairly realistic pictures that the Lumiere system creates. And now, another system is coming out from OpenAI, which is a print G of Microsoft. Microsoft has invested hundreds of millions of dollars in this Sam Altman Corporation. And I want to tell you, that the people who work in Hollywood, I naturally do not mean the actors of the first plan. They most likely already suspect that their incomes may be reduced, but ordinary Hollywood workers, that is, these are extras, supporting actors, people who receive a minimum of money. This is even money comparable, one might say, with a good Russian salary, an ordinary salary. Of course, I don't mean any heads of Russian state corporations. These people held a month's long strike last year. I told you that they are afraid of a one time scan of their face and facial expressions, which will then allow Hollywood studios to use their image with a full set of details of their facial expressions, gestures, and voice. And they practically give it all away for a few hundred dollars because the actors come to this one time edition, one time hearing. There, the cameras start scanning them from all sides, practically make a three-dimensional image of this actor, record the voice. And that's it. After a few hours, this actor, having received his two or three hundred dollars, leaves and practically loses his job for life in this industry because he signs a paper where it is written in small print that he loses opportunities to use his image more, his acting talent, if I may say so in this industry, because he transfers the right to his image to a company that will use it in films. And we have already seen even such hints in several feature films and TV series where actors are sampled and voices, gestures. Remember, this is a film of another 2011th year in my opinion, with Robin Wright Penn, where she, a published actress, goes to the last such edition, where she is scanned and practically immortalizes her image forever in her, in my opinion, 45 years of age, and she, in turn, receives compensation, decent enough money for her, is deprived of the opportunity to work. I told you about this movie, and now, I want to give you the opinion of experts in this industry, which confirms that the fear of employees, ordinary Hollywood workers, it was absolutely justified, and therefore they protested for several months, trying to bargain for some more or less acceptable conditions from the system. There is a director of the program Slow Horses or Lame Horses, which was released on Apple TV. This is a pretty good series about the British Me 5 service. I recommend everyone to watch. In some variants, it is called Slow, in other variants Lame Horses. So this director of this picture, this series, recently gave a report to the Parliamentary Commission on Culture of Great Britain, because he is also the vice chairman of the board of directors of Great Britain, who is played by Gary Oldman in this series. A very good role, so I recommend everyone to watch. And he gave his testimony to the Culture and Sports Committee, 
about the trends of British cinema and television, and he said the following words, that is, this is the opinion of a specialist here. We, the directors of the UK, held a forum show about doctors, this is a show that aired on the BBC, it was cancelled. The surname of this vice chairman of the board of directors of Great Britain. One of the participants started talking about artificial intelligence, and it made me wonder how long it would take before such a show as Doctors could be done completely, with the help of generative artificial intelligence. I conducted a survey among various visual effects specialists, talked to some of the team of lawyers who advised the SAC in the summer. This is the Screen Actors Guild and the Screenwriters Guild, the best guess is in three to five years. In other words, in three to five years, Hollywood, British cinema, and probably many others, will be able to produce series with the help of artificial intelligence. He believes that artificial intelligence will create a script and video material, potentially eliminating the need for screenwriters and actors. To explain the latter, he referred to the quarrel as a tool of Sam Altman's company Open, and which instantly creates a video that was launched just last week. In other words, this is a competitor of Gulliar, and I looked at there are still several similar systems that are currently being advertised. Of course, this is a paid system. I don't know their abilities yet, but Quarrel and Lumiar are the two most important competitors with each other. And I assume that the defense industry, DARPA, institutions that develop defense projects, they most likely have developed such projects for a long time and may have been used. Therefore, as I have already told you, soon, very soon, it will be possible to fake both my image and my voice and simply release a video discrediting this or that blogger, this or that politician. And then it will be difficult to distinguish the real from the real because it will be a so-called deep fake of the highest class. And naturally, very little will be said about this aspect. They will only talk about useful things. So most likely, most likely this scenario is very likely. And then the canvas continues, the expert I talked to said, I thought this could happen in 18 months or two years, but it has already happened. It's not perfect for live action, but it's damn, damn close to it. This is him talking about how Quarrel and Lumiar work. This makes me think that the changes will happen dramatically very, very soon. There are still questions, at least from the point of view of scripting, about how effective the process of creating artificial intelligence without human participation will be. Well, for example, the writer Charlie Brooker previously talked about trying to use Charles, which I have repeatedly told you about, to create a script for the sixth season of the TV series Black Mirror, about which many of you, by the way, wrote to me in personal mail and in the comments, but it failed because it turned out that what at first glance comes out plausible, but at second glance, shit. This is me quoting writer Charlie Brooker. Brooker spoke about the possibilities of this technology and the writing of scripts. All you have to do is look through all the brief descriptions of the Black Mirror episodes and sort of mix them together. Then if you dig a little deeper, you'll say, oh, there's really no real original thought here. However, the threat to and for members of parliament and individual committees may be somewhat more obvious. Hal said, I have to inform the committee that before I came, I asked the chat to come up with questions that you can ask me during your speech. And at the moment, his rating is quite high. In other words, even the chat predicted the questions that a member of parliament could ask him at this parliamentary hearing. So Hollywood workers, who are naturally well aware of the technologies that are already being used in Hollywood, they quite reasonably held this many-month strike, and as you can see, British experts, both screenwriters and directors believe that in three years, perhaps in five, artificial intelligence will completely deprive screenwriters and many other, say, supporting actors. And these dangers, which I mentioned to you above, are a fake speech of any person, which can be allowed to discredit him. And then you need to make great efforts to say, 
by a court decision with lawyers who have spent a lot of money. Remove these compromising videos from the network. But as they say, once by the method of a rotten herring, when compromising material is launched, even if you delete it, say after much effort and expense, then most likely the reputation of such a person will be ruined forever. So we will see how events develop, but I assume that this is a really serious assumption, and all this will be quickly implemented in real life. That's it dear friends, please subscribe to this channel, please like it after the 30th second, otherwise this platform will not take them into account. Be sure to subscribe to Boost, your subscription to Boost will help me continue my research on the Telegram channel, and do not forget that my book Occult Elite Games and the New World Order and the Occult Matrix can be ordered with my autograph via the email specified under each video or without an autograph by direct links to the publishing house conceptual. Have a nice day.